Well, the record is called Natural Forces, and it's the latest album by country music statesman Lyle Lovett. He's known for wry, intelligent, and lyrical songwriting, and the knowing, resonant voice that interprets those songs. Then there's his trademark look, the shock of vertical hair, and a dapper selection of perfectly tailored suits. His musical style has similar versatility. His 1986 debut album, Lyle Lovett, came through the gates flying and was an instant neo-country hit. Five of that album's singles reached the country top 40. Two years later, he followed up with Pontiac and soon spread his sound into new genres with more pop and rock. In 1989, he cemented his crossover appeal with the release of Lyle Lovett and his large band, which clinched a Grammy for Best Male Country Vocal Performance. By the early 1990s, he was getting heavy airplay on alternative radio stations. And over the years, he's earned three more Grammys and sold millions more records. Now on Natural Forces, his 14th album, Lyle Lovett seems to be solidly back in country territory. It's a mix of his own compositions and some from his fellow Texans, Vince Bell, Eric Taylor, and the late Towns Van Zant. The album is a is sunny and playful at times, mournful and introspective at others. It's a beautiful record, and it's a great pleasure to have Lyle Lovett and his band in Studio Q. Hello, sir. Jihan, thank you so much for having us. Well, a, a great pleasure. Now, I, I, do you want to introduce some of your accomplices to, to begin? Uh, here, here you've got this. There's I'm, I'm surrounded by well-dressed men. You know, there's, there's nothing I'd rather do, because I, I tell you, it is the greatest thrill in the world to be able to work uh, with talented musicians and I've been so fortunate in the course of my career. Please. On on fiddle, Stuart Duncan. On mandolin, Keith Sewell. Play and bass, Victor Krauss. And uh, depending on the song we're doing, on cello, uh, <laughs> my uh, old friend John Hagen. John and I have played together since 1979. And on piano, Jim Cox. Now you guys are going to kick us off with a song. Uh, are you going to play something from Natural Force? Well, may we? Please, yeah. What are you going to play for us? Yeah. This is a song that uh, I, I love getting to do with, with Keith and Stuart and Victor because they, they were brought up in the world of acoustic music and, and bluegrass. Uh, Stuart's band, the Nashville Bluegrass Band, has been together 25 years now, Stuart, is that right? That's right. And uh, Keith's first job, when Keith moved to Nashville from Texas when he was 19 years old, his first job was playing with Ricky Skaggs. So nice. uh, it's uh, great fun to get to play a bluegrass-style song uh, with with Keith and, and Stuart. A one, two, a one, two. My dear, I have something to ask you and I'll try to get it right. You heard the light cross the door, boys all sing a marble white. Oh, the way to someone's heart, dear, that old expression's true. So as long as we're apart, here's my request of you. Don't cheat on me with cornbread, don't cheat on me with beans, and don't cheat on me with bacon cooked up in collard greens. And don't cheat on me with biscuits, the jelly is sweet and good. In that place where you know you will be true. Keep it in your pantry. 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 Keep it in your 
band, the melons of Verona, and the sausage of Gdans. But no matter where I've been to, from Ottawa to Rome, well, nothing's quite as tasty as what's cooking right at home. Keep it in your pantry, keep it in your pantry, keep it in your pantry. 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 Live in Studio Q. That's Lyle Lovett and his band playing the song Pantry, written by Lyle Lovett and April Kimball. Uh, and that's a song that appears on his brand new record, Natural Forces. 